Hi everybody, this is a 48 volt UPS that I'm planning on using uh, for an inverter as part of my inexpensive do-it-yourself uh, basic photovoltaic home power system. Uh, earlier when I was testing it I just used a uh, cheap power cord from a computer power supply that I had around. It's got the, uh, the European style color codes on the inside and really really thin wires but it's what I had had handy for testing with. So I've now replaced that cord with a much thicker one and that was some uh, used cord I got for free that actually came off of a, a 30 amp connection cable. So it's nice and beefy. That's all uh, 10 gauge conductors in there. Uh, nice solid stuff. So I've got a good uh, uh, this is one of those flexible style connectors. You can set it with the turned blade for 20 amp connection or straight for uh, 15 amp style, but it's real heavy duty. And that cable now powers the UPS for the charging circuit. I still need to get a strain relief connector for right here. And inside, I've got it all wired up where I properly did heat shrink on there. Any butt splice connections, those are also all heat shrinked. So I'll be good to go with the cord on here as soon as I get that little uh, strain relief, relief connector for where it goes through the case. Now somebody else also mentioned that these were never really designed to run for you know, more than five minutes at a time. So over here, these are uh, heat sinks on MOSFETs and that does the, uh, uh, the switching going on in this thing for, for power conversion. So somebody suggested that I might need an extra fan for over there. Well, inside this thing, this was originally supposed to have four 12-volt batteries right here, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run to an external battery pack with much bigger batteries. So that means this little fan right here is spare, and if we follow the cord over, we can see right where it goes into the motherboard using kind of a, a standard computer-type uh, power connection, that little white guy right down there. So it may be as simple as doing something like just removing this fan, and mounting it maybe right over here to blow air across these or possibly replace it with a bigger fan but uh, uh, little computer fans like that are, are real simple I can uh, get them for free from a friend no problem so that might be a simple thing to do to add a little cooling right here um, but other than that um, I'll be able to pop the lid back on this uh, run the uh, this wire here out to the 48 volt external battery pack and I'll be ready to go to use this to create AC power from a 48 volt uh, solar battery system. <laughs>